the days of spending hours on the beach in the sun, or in a tanning booth in a quest for golden colored skin could soon be a thing of the past. Scientists have developed a new treatment that can tan skin without exposure to harmful UV rays, and it means even those with the lightest of skins will be able to get a tan. The team has now tested the treatment on human skin, and hopes it could drastically decrease the incidence of skin cancer. Applied as a cream to the skin, the drug allowed red-haired mice to develop a deep tan. In animal tests, red-haired mice became almost jet black in a day or two with a strong enough dose, the researchers observed. When the dosage was removed, normal skin regeneration meant the color faded within a week or so. Like their pale-skinned human counterparts, the mice are particularly susceptible to the damaging effects of the sun's ultraviolet rays. Scientists from Massachusetts General Hospital developed the new skin treatment using a class of small molecules. They have now applied the molecules to the surface of human skin samples. The molecules were small enough to penetrate the skin, and caused it to darken in color in just eight days. Because the scientists only tested the new drug on skin samples rather than on people, they are still unsure of its side effects. But they claim the treatment could one day replace sunbeds, which use harmful UV radiation. Dr. David Fisher, lead researcher, told Mail Online, the pigmentation induced here did not use UV at all, that is one of the most important points. UV mutates DNA and causes skin cancer. The topical chemical agent in our study induces pigmentation without any need for UV at all, and it probably is protective against UV UV rays from the sun, or sunbeds can damage the genetic material in your skin cells. If enough DNA damage builds up over time, it can cause cells to start growing out of control, which can lead to skin cancer. We believe the potential importance of this work is towards a novel strategy for skin cancer prevention, Dr. Fisher said. Skin is the most common organ in our bodies to be afflicted with cancer, and the majority of cases are thought to be associated with UV radiation. The molecules in the treatment darken skin by targeting the, the process that controls skin pigmentation. Pigmentation of the skin, hair and eye retinas occurs when the specialized cells produce melanin, a dark pigment that protects the skin from harmful rays. The new treatment works by prompting the pigmentation process to produce more melanin than normal. This leads to the darkening of the skin, which lasted for 10 days. Because the treatment forces skin to produce more melanin, it may also help to protect it from the harmful effects of UV rays. Dr. Fisher said, the non-UV skin darkening described here might be able to help provide some UV protection, which is a major goal. We would anticipate that this could be used in a skin topical application, such as cream or lotion, although further research is required first, including safety testing, and optimal formulation. We suspect that the best form of sun protection, may be a combination of this type of agent plus UV blocking sunscreen.